Hi, I'm Nathan Zampronia, one of your Hawkesbury City Councillors. The minimum requirement for a councillor, considering that we're being paid about $20,000 a year to represent you, is that we turn up and that we do our job. Now, council records a great deal of information about our attendance at ordinary council meetings, and that is reported, but not in a tabulated way, not at the end of the year and not at the end of the council term. And we didn't record information about workshops, briefings, committee meetings, or external organisations to which we as councillors are delegated. So I brought a motion before our council to uh, ask council to tabulate that information and present a report card at the end of each year and before an election to prove which councillors have turned up and done their job. Thank you. Um, I regard this as a uh, simple and um, virtuous idea. What we don't collect at the moment is councillor attendance at briefings, workshops, uh, community consultation sessions. So most of the information I'm looking for is already collected. There is no onerous administrative overhead here. But what I do believe would be appreciated by the community is being presented a report card at the end of the council term that tabulates that information on a per councillor basis and provides some information to voters about how diligent their councillors has been. I think the community expects this kind of accountability. Our community strategic plan, our code of conduct, all make mention of the need for us to be present, engaged and diligent. This is simply something that we can do in service of those values that we've already put forward to the community as things that we support. I think what they might worry about is a councillor who attends one meeting out of three in order not to be um, removed from, from his or her position, um, or a councillor who didn't attend any briefings for three and a half years, for example, um, or a councillor who never attended a community engagement session in the five years that they were elected to council. That, I think, is the sort of information that the, that the public has a right to know, given that they are paying us an allowance to do this job. But I, I think it's a small part of the story, and I, I think it just brings us into line with, you know, public company reports on attendance to board meetings, um, parliament's report on attendance to uh, members, um, to sessions. Um, I think that this is an example around accountability and transparency, which are um, words that we heard very prominently uh, during the lead up to the election. Uh, everybody was promoting accountability. And I think that this is correct. And it shows to our ratepayers that we have actually attended that conference. And I have been to conferences that are three day conferences and people leave after the first day. And I think that that's a deceptive thing in terms of, um, you know, not being accountable to the public for uh, public funds. Now, it turns out that some of my council colleagues took a very curious attitude towards this. They, they seemed offended at the idea that they would be held to account in this way. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I, um, I find this notice of motion ridiculous and insulting. So what this notice of motion is saying is that, um, well, it implies strongly that we can't be trusted to manage things. That we have to be supervised. We have to be watched. And, we ha and, and things have to be done to make sure that we turn up to events. It's all ridiculous. And I'm actually quite insulted by this whole process. And I'm surprised that other councillors aren't insulted by it as well. It'll cause us a lot of problems and won't make the council look good. It'll make us look very divided, very ineffective. And I'm going to vote against this notice of motion. I'm not supporting this notice of motion. To get our staff to gather such information is not appropriate. It is clearly for political ends. Our staff should be only working on things for the public good. This notice of, most of motion um, just assumes that if you show up um, and if you show up to everything, you'll be effective and diligent. I can't support this and I hope my fellow councillors won't either. Now, uh, what happens that uh, once you know this COVID matter is uh, a bit eases down and 
I start doing my interstate and overseas trips and won't be able you know, to attend to uh, committee meetings or uh, workshops or uh, whatever community engagement. Well, I'm glad to say that after some debate, I gained the majority support of my council colleagues, including my uh, elected Liberal colleagues, and that the motion passed. We'll go right up by councillors and Brockman. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. What a storm in a teacup. Look, unlike some of my colleagues, I am not afraid of, nor am I insulted by the prospect of accountability. Most of the information that I'm asking for here is simply a re-presentation of information that is already collected and already public. There are significant issues of public interest here. Our accountability with public funds, that we do the very minimum that's required of us in our roles, which is that we turn up and that we do the job. All of this sophistry about whether we go to a meeting for two hours or 10 minutes, whether we sit in the back, whether we sit in the back row or whether we um, do a song and dance act on the stage, that's not what this is about. There are many other things that people will use to judge at the end of the term whether a person is worthy of re-election. The degree of engagement that we have with our broader community, the community groups that we're members of, the residents that we sit down with, our perception of issues, the research that we do behind the scenes, they're not captured by this, but they're not meant to. This is simply a tabulation of information relating to which committees or conferences or workshops or council meetings we attend. In the interest of public accountability, I think this is simple, obvious and worthy. Which means that as a result of my motion, now in the annual report and before a council election, you are going to get a report card of which meetings our councillors turned up to and who turned up and did their job. Okay, we'll put the motion. All those in favour, please raise your hand. In favour of the motion are Councillor Connolly, Councillor Jurek, Councillor Lance Bucket, Councillor Wheeler, Councillor Reardon, Councillor Beigel, Councillor Zamproco, Councillor Dr. Marchi, Councillor Richards, against Councillor Carver, Councillor Kotlash, Councillor Sheather. Declare it carried.